Hello, my name is Ryan Pepperello, Safety and Health Specialist for the Labor's Health and Safety Fund of North America. Today I want to discuss noise in the workplace and how you can protect yourself and others around you. Thousands of construction workers are already hearing impaired due to noise exposure and thousands more are being exposed to damaging noise levels every day. After hypertension and arthritis, hearing loss is the third most common chronic physical condition among adults in the U.S. About 24% of the hearing difficulty among U.S. workers is caused by on-the-job exposures. Studies show construction laborers with more than 15 years of experience have significant hearing loss. Construction workers spend about 70% of their time in environments with hazardous noise. Why is prevention important? Permanent hearing loss develops so slowly that it won't be noticed until it's too late. Almost all work-related hearing loss is permanent. Hearing loss is associated with mental decline and heart problems such as high blood pressure and heart disease. Ringing in the ears, which often occurs along with hearing loss, can disrupt sleep and concentration. Moderately severe hearing loss can lead to lower quality of life when the sounds we want to hear, like music or conversations with a loved one, become muted. Hearing loss can impact safety at home and on the job. What can workers do to prevent work-related hearing loss? Find out if the noise in your workplace is hazardous. If you must raise your voice to speak at someone at arm's length, the noise is likely to hazardous level. Reduce your noise exposure at work. Always wear hearing protection in noisy areas, and if using foam plugs such as these, insert them correctly. Take breaks away from noisy activity and areas. Enclose the source of the noise, or place a barrier between you and the source. Increase the distance between you and the source of the noise. Remember that employers must provide hearing protection when noise level exceeds the limit or if employees request them. Employers should take a task-based approach to noise. Whenever a task requires loud equipment, use hearing protection for as long as you're operating the equipment or are in the area. Supervisors and workers should have a good idea of how loud a task, piece of equipment, or an area will be. This can be done through measurement, experience, manufacturer specs, or objective data. Workers should always wear hearing protection when exposures are expected to exceed 85 decibels. When expected noise levels require a hearing conservation program, workers must be trained to understand the hazard and baseline testing should be offered. Workers must also be trained in the correct use and fit of hearing protection. For more information on noise exposure and construction, contact the fund's OSH division. Thank you and have a safe day.